In this video, I will show you how to set up the data provisioning agent to connect an SAP HANA on-premise system to an SAP HANA cloud instance. You need to set up the data provisioning agent to create a connection between SAP HANA cloud and SAP HANA on-premise using Smart Data Integration SDI. SDI is the best way to virtualize and replicate data from an SAP HANA on-premise database to an SAP HANA cloud instance. In this video, you will see all the steps needed, which include 1. Installing the client 2. Starting the client 3. Connecting the client to the SAP HANA cloud database 4. Registering the agent 5. Registering the adapter You can download the DP agent from the SAP Development Tools website. You can find the link in the description of this video. In this example, I am using SAP HANA Express Edition and a Linux system. I will complete all the steps using the Command Line Interface tool or CLI. For other operating systems, the steps are very similar, although there are minor differences in the extensions. First, let's install the DP agent. I have already downloaded the DP agent and extracted the installation program from the path it has been downloaded to. In case of this example, I access the downloaded file with these commands. Depending on your installation path, these commands could be different for you. Type in the directory where you installed the DP agent and then the name of the installation file. My SAP HANA Express Edition is installed in a virtual machine in the directory of the user SAP. There, I will install the DP agent and give the ownership to the HXE admin. In the details, you can see the command line based installation program HDB inst to install. While other installation programs are UI based, in this video, I will use the command line based installation to be consistent. I will execute this command now. Next, I am asked for the default installation path. I will press enter to select the default. The agent listener port is 5050. I will press enter to select the default. The agent administration port is 5051. Again, I will select the default. Next, I need to enter the JRE directory. For this video, I will use the default JRE that comes bundled. So again, I will press enter. Now the installation of the data provisioning agent to the selected directory will start. Next, I will show you how to start the client. Once the data provisioning agent has been installed, I will move over to the folder where the DP agent is installed and go to the bin directory. Here I can see there are various programs of which I will choose the agent configuration for the command line. The DP agent configuration tool will open. If I check the agent status, I can see that the agent is not yet running. I will start the agent by entering option 2, start or stop agent in the top menu, and then option 1, start agent to start the agent. Now I will ping the agent to check if the agent service is running correctly by entering option 3, ping agent. As you can see, the ping was successful. Next, I will show you how to connect the client to the SAP HANA cloud instance. I will enter option B to go back to the top menu to register this agent to the SAP HANA cloud instance. Then I will make the connection by choosing option 6, SAP HANA connection. Since I want to connect to the SAP HANA cloud instance by using JDBC with SSL inscription, I will enter option 1, connect to SAP HANA cloud via JDBC. Next, I need to determine if the connection should be encrypted. Since the communication will happen using public internet connection, encryption is necessary. So I will select the default true. Now I will enter the host name. Normally it would not be populated, but since we are using the previous configuration it is. I will get the endpoint information of my SAP HANA cloud instance and enter it as the host name. Before pressing enter, I need to remove the last three digits and the colon at the end. These last three digits I remove, 443, need to be entered as the port number in the next step. During the configuration of the DP agent, I need to log in with a database user. In this example, I will use my super user, the DB admin. However, you would not normally connect with this user since this is not the best security strategy. I'm only doing it to make this example simpler and avoid potential permission issues. I will enter the password for the user, which in this case is my SAP HANA Cloud instance password. If the DP agent is behind a firewall, I need to set up a proxy server to bypass the firewall. If that is the case for you, enter true to set up the proxy server. Since it is not the case for me, I will select the default faults. Next, I need to select the technical user between the DP agent and the SAP HANA Cloud instance during normal operation. For this, I will enter tech underscore user, a user that I have created earlier and given the privileges required for SDI, SDA management, which are adapter admin, agent admin, and create remote source. 
After I enter the password for this user, the connection will be established. Next, I will show you how to register the agent. Once the connection is set up, I will go back to the top menu by entering B. To register the agent, I will enter option 7, Agent Registration, and then option 1, Register Agent. For the settings Agent Name and Host Name, I will select the default setting by pressing Enter. The agent registration is now completed. Let me show you that the connection has been made. I will go to the SAP HANA Database Explorer that is connected to my SAP HANA Cloud instance, and there I will click on Agents under my catalog. There, you can see that the agent dpagent underscore hxe host is now registered. The last step is to register the adapter. Let me show you how to do that. Back at the dpagent in the command line interface, I will go back to the top menu of the dpagent configuration tool by pressing B. I will enter option 8, adapter registration, to register the adapter. To see a list of all adapters available, I will enter option 1, display adapters. In the list, you can see the HANA adapter. That will be the one that I'm using. Since it is not yet registered, I need to go back to the adapters registration menu by pressing enter. There, I will select option 2, register adapter, and enter HANA adapter as the adapter name and press enter. Let me show you in the SAP HANA database explorer of the SAP HANA cloud instance that the adapter was successfully registered. There in the catalog, I will go to adapters. At the bottom left, you can now see the HANA adapter is in the list. I will switch back to the DP agent and there go back to the top menu of the DP agent configuration tool and finally check the agent status, option one. There, you can see all the settings I have just configured and that the agent is running successfully and is connected to my SAP HANA Cloud instance. Now the configuration is finished, so I can quit the DP agent configuration tool by entering Q. Now I have successfully created a connection between SAP HANA on-premise and the SAP HANA Cloud instance by using the DP agent configuration tool. And that's it. Now you know how to install, start and configure everything you need to do in the DP agent to create a smart data integration connection between SAP HANA on-premise and SAP HANA Cloud. Make sure to check out the other videos and tutorials on our website. Thanks for watching.